Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the second life program which is implement AO star search algorithm. Okay, AO means what and or star. Okay, so we will be uh, learning what this algorithm is by using an example. I will be sli uh, slightly touching this example and finally I will also be telling how do you remember this program. Okay, so before starting if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel your support helps me make more videos like this. So let's get started. So let me show you the whole program. The program starts from here class graph okay and we have the class definition till here and after that we have some functions defined like print solution compute minimum node and AO star and finally we are calling this function by using two examples okay so uh, let me tell you what is AO star AO star means you will be having a graph like this okay and you will be having some ands present in between so what do we mean by this ands are nothing but uh, see if I am starting from A and I am choosing this path okay if I am choosing this path means and there is an and here means I have to choose both B and C okay if I choose both B and C means I have to reach the leaf node from here also and I have to choose a leaf node from here also and whatever the cost comes uh, we have to add it both and uh, send to A that is what is called and okay if it is or means I can just go with this one or at this point of time I can go here or I can go here that is what is called and or or okay this is and and this is nothing if nothing is there that is called as or now uh, this is the format in which the example is taken see uh, lastly we have two examples okay this one example and this one example so we'll be getting two outputs let's discuss each example one by one let's take this example the same example I've written here okay so as you can see here I have heuristic values heuristic values means what the uh, cost of each node for example these all are all uh, employees okay for each employee you'll be having some salary right so for each of those uh, letters also or the notes you have the salary uh, take it in this way heuristic means the uh, money you have to pay to get them so a has 1 b has 6 c has 2 d has 12 and so on till uh, t it is written but t is not used here so uh, we don't care about that so all of these uh, letters have some associated value and this is our dictionary okay first you have to define a dictionary here another dictionary is defined as graph 1 uh, for this why we need is we need to define which are the edges connected right so from a how many edges are there to d to b to c three edges are there but b and c are together okay so first what we will be doing is I will be opening a notepad here. I will be explaining you in more depth what is actually happening. See, there is a graph present here and in graph, what are the nodes present from where edges are coming out? Those letters have uh, written here. A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, G. Right. A, B, C, D and G. Because rest all are uh, leaf nodes. E, F, I, H and J. These are all what? Uh, leaf nodes. So, we are not in any uh, letter here. If these also had some other nodes uh, below it, we will be writing them in this um, in this place here. Okay. So, A has how many? Uh, D, B and C. But B and C are connected. So, that's why we are using a format here. Remember this format? First, you have to write graph 1 and then flower braces and another flower braces. Okay. Graph 1 is there then we have equal to then we have one flower braces and another flower braces inside this we have to define all the edges okay so what's the first edge getting defined in first edge what we have we can consider a okay so a is considered like this and inside that what we have is we have opened the square braces and closed the square braces okay so see this is the square braces open this is the square braces closed this is for a like that only we are doing for b also okay so if i write for b it will be like this okay and a colon and another one here so see here b also has the same thing here now inside this thing i have to define how many edges are there see inside this this is considered as one entity and this is considered as one entity so inside this i'll have one like this comma another like this okay two times i have if i give some space it will be clear see here this is for one entity this is for another entity this is one entity this both together this is one entity so let me write about the first entity which is b and c so for b and c i have to define two things one circle braces for b and another circle braces for c okay and since the another entity is just having d i'll be having just one uh, uh, circle braces inside this I have to define what letter and what is the cost associated with that so first one is b and the cost associated with that is comma one and here also we have C. So I'll be writing within the single quotes C comma one. Okay. So all of these have initial cost as one means to travel to that edge how much cost it is. So these edges cost is written as one. Okay. So all the edges cost initially it is one. So that's what we have written here. And here also I'll be filling the same thing for D. Okay, done d comma one d is also one like that we'll be filling all the nodes so you got the point right so that's what we are, are doing it here and the graph is ready when the graph and the heuristic is ready we have to call what graph here this is the graph class which we are calling okay so let's have a look at graph class in graph class what is getting passed graph one this dictionary and h1 this dictionary and a, a is the starting node three things are getting passed in graph so let's have a look at what is graph 
coming at the top the class graph is defined as follows in uh, class graph we have six things defined okay this is the init function it is accepting graph heuristic node list and start node these are the three things which i am passing here graph one is nothing but this one it will uh, come and sit in graph and second one is h1 h1 will come and sit in heuristic node list and third one a will be uh, coming and sitting in start node now since we have defined three things here there will be totally six uh, members needed okay one for graph i'll be writing self dot graph is equal to graph then heuristic node list i am representing by a small letter called as h self dot h is equal to heuristic node list and start node i'm representing as self dot start is equal to start node after i've done this much i need three more things which is parent status and solution graph parent means for parent what is the parent of b parent parent of b is a like that okay for storing those values what is status status means visited or not if i am visited i and i don't want to visit i again i'll be uh, putting its status as minus one minus one means i'll not visit it again for for which letter what is the status that i'll be showing in this dictionary solution graph is nothing but the final graph which we get okay means the solution how can we traverse this is known as solution graph here we'll be having a letter like if they ask from starting from a from a will travel to b and c then from b where will travel to g from c will travel to j then from g where will travel to i from i we, we can't travel anywhere because i is the last node here like that we are storing the final solution graph we'll understand this more when we move ahead in this video okay so these are the six things defined here and after this defining these six data members we have to define six functions as well what are those six functions it's very simple these are the six functions given here so first what you did you will be uh, defining six data members here after that you'll be defining six uh, functions very easy apply AO star is the first function self dot AO star self dot start false okay I'll be coming to back to these functions when we actually iterate through the uh, algorithm for now just listen to uh, what it is get neighbors okay get neighbors means what are the neighbors neighbors of A is nothing but B and C okay that is what is called get neighbors then we have get status it's getting the status of whether the node is visited, visited or not set status get heuristic node value set heuristic node value heuristic node value is what these values h values okay so a slight information i'm giving what's happening here print solution will print the final solution like the, it will print cell dot start and solution graph means for each iteration what should be printed this is printed by print solution this is printed by print solution this is printed by print solution and so on next what we have the uh, minimum cost uh, compute minimum cost okay so this is also another function i'll come i'll come to this and discuss in depth then finally we have your star and this is the final function which will be calling here and uh, that's all these are the functions defined now uh, let's have a count at of how many functions are there see start the program from writing here okay initially leave one or two pages for writing this one after the start from here define a h1 um <coughs> you know dictionary and uh, write all the letters and their associated values here after that define a graph one and that will also be having the nodes and the edges present here so you have to define it in, uh, define, uh, define it in this format first you have to write a then make a square bracket inside the square bracket make like this and so on okay you have to do it in that way next what we have we have we are just uh, writing g1 is equal to graph of graph h1a now g1 will have what g1 will be assigned these values whatever we pass of graph heuristic and the start node and it will create an object of that uh, class okay so after we have created the object that is present in g1 g1 can be applied uh, to uh, perform a star which is already defined a g1 dot apply a star it will call this function apply a star will call this function and it will go to a star and so on those things will happen after those things are done we will just print the solution okay so here also we're printing the solution then uh, in the same way the another example is defined now let's di uh, dive deep into what's actually happening in this case g1 dot apply a star is called let's have a look at what is apply a star apply a star is the first function defined after the uh, data members getting defined in apply a star we have self dot a star and we are passing self dot start and false so this false denotes whether we are doing backtracking or not since in the first node we cannot do backtracking because there is no back node so that's why we are passing it as false okay and another parameter we are passing is self dot start which is a starting node that we are passing and to whom we are passing self dot ao star what is ao star ao star self means from this class only i am choosing the function called as ao star so let's have a look where is that function that function is exactly here self dot ao star is this one in the self uh, means uh, ignore the first word here the second is this one v so in v the starting node will be present and backtracking i have passed as false okay v is the starting node and backtracking is uh, passed as false so these two uh, parameters come here now let's have a look at what's happening here initially i will print heuristic values of h what are the heuristic values of the given h that i'll be printing means h i have defined as this one so that was the that will be the first thing which is getting printed here okay see this is the first thing which got printed here okay and then what we are uh, printing is the solution graph solution graph is initially empty right 
so what we'll be uh, seeing is nothing okay because the solution graph initially it is empty so it will be just printing nothing and finally we have what we are uh, trying to print is this one uh, v v is the starting node so we'll be printing the processing node as uh, currently which node we are uh, presented then we are printing some hyphen values okay so here we are printing the a and then we are printing some hyphen values after that is done next what we are doing next what we are trying to see is self dot get status of v is greater than or equal to zero initially the status what it will return self dot get status this is getting called let's have a look at what is get status function so get status is uh, present here that is uh, passing uh, means accepting a parameter v so whatever the starting node we had passed that will be coming and sitting here and for that particular node what is the status value initially there is nothing assigned okay the status value everything is empty so we are what we are uh, try, uh, trying to do is self dot status dot get now see status initially i defined nothing here right it is empty if it is empty then i have to return as zero else i have to return as what is the value associated with p if it is there for me return what is associated with that means that particular status or by default return as zero so in this case we'll get as zero in the get status so it will come and sit here this will be answered as zero zero is greater than equal to zero obviously yes so we will come and do this thing in this thing what's happening minimum cost and child node list two things are getting uh, assigned some values here minimum cost and child node list that is getting assigned what self dot compute minimum cost child nodes of v v is the starting node in starting node what are the childs present here okay what are the childs present here which is the minimum one that we are trying to find out i already told you right we are trying to find out which is the minimum cost to the end okay that's what uh, we are trying to do here also in the first layer we'll do we'll be doing the same thing we are seeing if this is uh, minimum cost or this is minimum cost based on that we will uh, make the decision and move uh, ahead so compute minimum cost child nodes is another function which is defined here okay that is defined here okay this is the function we'll be uh, going through it but for now just keep in mind what's happening here after that we get uh, the minimum cost and the child node list okay means what is the cost associated with this or this and what is the node list means which are the nodes will be traversing for example if this cost is 7 if this cost is 8 then what will be the uh, minimum cost it will be 7 and the child node list will be b comma c okay like that it will be returned after that we have done that set heuristic node value v comma minimum cost v is the starting node starting node is a then for a what will be the heuristic value the heuristic value will be the traversal till this point what is the minimum cost we found that will be the value which is assigned to heuristic okay initially it is one but after that we will be assigning this value okay and set status also len of child node list status will be set as how many childs are there for this the two childs are there a b and c so this value will be b and c okay means two like that it will happen and then solved is equal to true solved means we have solved for a will be moving ahead okay like that will be uh, putting solved as true then what we are doing for child node in child node list self dot parent of child node is equal to v the child node's parent should become v child node is this one and this one its parent should become a that's what we are assigning here for each child node we are doing that then second child node is c first child node is b second child node is c for each we are assigning the parent as a after that self dot get status of child node not equal to minus one if the child node are not minus one that means they are not traversed then what we have to do then you have to make it as solved is equal to solved and false because it is not yet solved so how can we make it solved as true you have to make it as false only right that's what we are doing here after we have made as solved then we will be proceeding further now if solved is true solved is true obviously we have done solved true here but here it became false right so we are not uh, going to see this one we'll come back to this later we'll come here v is not equal to self dot start if v is not equal to self dot start means if v is not the starting node in, in our case it is the starting node so we are least bothered about this one we'll come to here backtracking is false if you remember in the starting part i told backtracking is false because starting node there is no backtracking the backtracking the current node with value backtracking uh, set to true in this case we will set as true when there is no uh, start node if it is not start node then we will make it as true if it is starting node how can we make it as true it is false only obviously see the backtracking value which we passed here from where we uh, came to AO star we came from here right the false value is passed here for AO star so that same false value came and sat here in backtracking and that's what we are comparing it here so it is false so we will be doing the following things for child node in child node list means we are traversing each of these child nodes and what we are trying to do is set status of child node as zero we are setting the child node statuses as zero and then we are calling each of the child, uh, child nodes again uh, AO star because for this I need to know what is the least part till the end for this also I need to know what is the least part till the end so I am again uh, going till here and I am returning these values that will be stored again 
so final uh, solution graph will store all the values which are present okay so that's how this uh, algorithm works and for this and this this is nothing but if it is true solved is true means set the status as minus one and solution graph of v is equal to child node list if it is solved then uh, assign the child node list to the solution graph what is solution graph the final graph which we get here see what is the solution graph is nothing but this one so we'll be assigning whatever the solution we had got till that point to the solution graph okay so if i have got the solution through b what i'll be assigning is for b whatever the answers i have b till g g till i all these answers i'll be assigning for b and next i have from c so for c whatever uh, values i have c and j and all these values i'll be assigning for c and after that uh, a value i'll be assigning initially only because i'm starting from this starting node okay that's what iteratively we will be assigning what solutions we have got to the solution graph okay that's why we need a recursive function as in this case that's what we are doing here and here okay after that uh, the remaining thing what i had left to explain is compute minimum cost child node what does this do this will compute the minimum cost child node let's have a look at how it does okay so this is the algorithm very uh, simple one so if you get to know what it is it's very simple one compute minimum cost of child nodes of which whose child v's child v is the starting node so v is passed here and in the at the end what we are returning minimum cost and cost to that child what is the uh, minimum cost like for example uh, if this is the minimum cost okay for b and c if the minimum cost is 7 and what is the nodes present 7 and nodes present that's what we are returning here what is the cost and what are the nodes present cost to child uh, cost to child node list date of minimum cost for the 7 uh, cost what are the nodes present that i'll be returning means b and c then for this how i am getting solution for this how i'm getting solution those things are present okay and the cost what is the cost to get those things okay so the function is as follows minimum cost equal to zero initially so i will be assigning a cost to child node list dictionary for each of the cost if there are particular nodes assigned that will be assigning okay for example this is uh, from seven i have b and c for eight i have d for nine i have f like that i'll be assigning okay means for which uh, number of cost means for 5 rupees what you'll get 10 rupees what you'll get like that here also for this much cost what is the notes you'll get for this much cost what are the notes you'll get for that we are assigning this dictionary and for each dictionary we are assigning the cost uh, i mean the notes associated for example minimum cost it came as 5 for cost to child node list dictionary for five cost what are the uh, available nodes i can traverse to in my five cost like that we are storing in this dictionary initially for minimum cost it is zero there is empty dictionary because zero we, are, we cannot traverse anywhere so it is empty initially flag is equal to true and then we are uh, traversing each node info tuple list in self dot get neighbors of v v is what starting node what is the neighbors of starting node neighbors of starting node is this one these are the neighbors b c and d for each of these b c and d we are traversing okay so what let's see what's happening when we are traversing here when you're traversing in each of these uh, nodes here for node info tuple list each time we'll be selecting one one okay each time we'll be selecting one first we'll select b then c then d let's select b comma one let's select b comma one cost is equal to zero node list is equal to empty c comma weight what will be c comma weight c will be nothing but b and weight will be nothing but one these two things are assigned in c and weight after that we'll be computing the cost for the heuristic node value also we'll get and weight what is heuristic node value of b that also we'll get add it with the original weight and store it in cost that will append to the uh, node list like that we'll do for all the uh, remaining neighbors also and add up and store in the node list after we have done that flag if it is equal to true initially we have done as true so obviously it is true minimum cost will be assigned as cost so initially we haven't uh, traversed any more children only these two we have traversed so we'll assume that this is the minimum one and assign it then we will uh, compare it uh, means we are just assigning it here then in the next iteration we come again for d when we will do for a flag will become uh, false why because in the last iteration we are in true at that time only we made flag as false so this will uh, happen again and come here and this will not become true when this will not become true we are not doing this one we'll go to the else condition they will check if minimum cost is greater than cost minimum cost is what the previous one what is cost the initial one if the previous one is greater than the initial one that means initial one is more better so i have to select this one so that's what i'm doing minimum cost will become the initial one and then again i'll assign what is the node list associated with that new 
uh, small cost that will be assigned here okay for new small cost if i got d like for example if i got 5 for d i'll be assigning 5 and uh, notes i'll assign what are the values i will get firstly this will be assigned then recursively these things will be assigned in the next iterations okay so that's what uh, is happening in the minimum cost i hope so you uh, understood make sure you hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more days like this and just uh, go to the flow which i told you and it will be helpful for you thank you so much for watching i'll see you next